And so I'm wondering what are those colors? And the other thing as well is that I do get uh, short movies, clips. So what do you do with these images or clips or movies? Right. Well, let me ask you a couple of questions before I can answer that question. Um, a is you're, you're doing a specific kind of third eye activation meditation or you're just referring to what we did, we did today? More like what we did today. Right. Today, we just simply diverted our attention inwards. Yes, so, so that's, how, that's how I'm starting the third eye meditation and then I can I reach a state. I, I don't recall that I said this is a third eye meditation, but um, I don't think I said that, but it doesn't matter whether I said it or not said it, it won't make any difference. The fact is that you're, you're turning your attention inwards towards the source of yourself. You're taking, am I correct? You brought your attention inwards to, and you followed your thoughts. That's only the beginning. Well, then, I mean, when I, I reach a state when I do meditation, yeah? After a while, I, um, I, you, you use a, a word, you said that you, you start to feel good or whatever. I don't remember exactly how you said it, but you reach a state that is different than at the beginning of the meditation. And that is what is happening to, um, to me. And, um, and then there are those colors, uh, you know, um, and those well, images. Well, you're, you're, whatever you're doing is working, but does it make you calm and quiet? Do you go in a deep silence? Yes, in inner right. peace, incredible inner peace. Yeah, inner peace, exactly. So you're doing, you're doing it correctly. Now, when you're going, your attention turns inwards and you're traveling in the inner worlds, you're going in, and sometimes you're seeing colors because sometimes pineal gland gets activated and you see colors and that's and that's perfectly fine however don't get caught on that it doesn't matter whether you are seeing colors or images it's really nice if you do and it's also okay if you don't the idea is to take you and introduce you to your own self. The idea is to go deep into silence. That's the idea. Are you there? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm reflecting on what you're saying. Right. The idea is to go into a deep, quiet place and that deep, quiet place is a space which is always here, something within you and everyone else. Something is always here. There is, there is like a presence. There's like a being. There's like you, the witness, the watcher, the self. I'm using different words. Something is always here. Now, what is that thing? Something is always like watching. It's watching. In this watcher, hearing the thoughts, hearing emotions come and go. The watcher is seeing the body is changing. This watcher is aware of the world's changing. As we can see right now, the world is changing very quickly. Something is aware of all of these things. Our problem is that we don't pay attention to this thing. Our attention is on the outside. We're not paying attention on the one 
who's watching. This work that I do is to divert your attention inwards towards this part, that which doesn't change. This is the only thing that doesn't change. Again, I'm gonna use some words for it. We can call it the watcher, the witness, the I am, the self, the Atman. These are words, God, Her Majesty, something never changes. Something's always here. The entire goal of my teachings and sharings is to bring our attention to this part of ourselves and to recognize it. Once you recognize it, a phenomena takes place. It begins to operate, an operation takes place. It's like something gets activated through that recognition. So you're doing a very good job. Don't worry about what the colors mean or don't mean. Don't get distracted by that. Keep your attention on the prize, on the main goal. The main goal is to help you to recognize this part of yourself. Why? The more you, no you notice it, the more you identify with it, the more you recognize the truth of who you are. And the more you, you become quiet and calm and your life changes because your vibration starts to change. Somebody who operates from silence and stillness operating from a much higher frequency, their vibration is completely different than people who are operating from the mind, the world of thoughts. Okay. Okay, thank you. I mean, I appreciate you bringing this up, but let's, let me make it very simple. Forget about fifth dimension, vibrations, frequency, all these things. Let's put everything away. The proof is in the pudding. When you do this meditation, do you feel better or you feel worse? Better. Then that's it. Then, then keep doing what you're doing because you're doing it right. I, I have an old saying, and I've been sharing it with my friends. I say, if it's good to you, it's good for you. <laughs> Whatever that is. If during the day you have a glass of wine and that glass of wine is good to you, it keeps you calm, keeps you okay, the next day you wake up, you feel good, you're happy, then it's good to you. It doesn't matter it's wine or it's an herbal tea or it's health food or it's junk food. If it's good to you, it's good for you. The, the proof is in the pudding. Keep okay. doing what you do. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Can I just say something, Susanna? Yeah, of course. of course. Yeah, I just want to say to Isabella that she's not alone in that because I have the same thing. And I'm just aware about the thing who is watching, right? So I'm aware about these images. I have them too. And um, so just to tell her that it's not only her. I don't have very much minds, but I, I have pictures and, uh, and very much uh, like colors, like very shining, energetic things. 